Hello and welcome back, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of courses staring down a track that may look different. That's because it's a Gymkhana style track by Hexer Mods. So we're going to be talking about the HDC series that I'm going to be competing in. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So Hexer Mod, if you guys don't know, he makes a lot of really great mods for a set of Corsa. He did Sly Boy Sanctuary, Sly Boy Skid Pads, and things of that nature. And now he's going to be running the HDC competition. So if you've noticed, it's basically like a Gymkhana grid style or Gymkhana style track where it's for time. So we're going to be taking a look at the layout one. Big thank you for them giving me the track early access. So we're going to be taking a look at it. We're going to drive through it first to get the layout set, and then we're going to go a full bore run. We are going to be running our 350Z, but this 350Z is a little different. Then 350Z, you know, this has a nice a big V8 in there with this trevical supercharger. Basically, the motor was essentially pulled out of Matt Fields' S14.5. So... Like I said, we're going to be running this. Super excited to be getting into another competition. This is a little bit different than a tandem comp. So, but we can use our own cars as long as they're on 265. So let's take a little drive through the course before basically a course walk. So we can get an idea of what the course, the layout we should be running in full drift. So we're just going to... We're just going to be going now. We're going to have to be drifting the other time. I believe you lose add time added if you're not drifting. So we have to go through there and then we use this is a pretty long sweeper around the outside of the course into this tight little section. Trying not to hit any pylons. We got to tag that hanging wheels with the front of our car. Then we come back looping around. Back kind of the same way we came, but instead of going back towards the lead, we're going to be going into this intersection, which is a split. There's a little bit, there's some double arrows there. We're going to be going on the inside of that first, and we got to complete the whole loop, trying not to hit any of these barriers. Now, these barriers do get knocked out of the way, so you will hit them. I'm not sure if they're going to be adding time for that. So you do one loop inside, and then you bring it back on the outside and come through and bring it into probably one of my favorite looking parts of the course the box turns so you're gonna come you gotta come in and loop around this first box turn which is kinda hard to do not drifting and then loop into the second one and then pull it in into the third one while, while drifting this entire course so you can't stop drifting I don't know why we're glitching there why are we glitching and then you bring the full sweep on the outside. I'm not unsure why we were glitching there, but we're now we're not. And pull the sweep full on the outside, taking out those hanging tires, and then sweep it back around and bring it through this intersection in between the two sets of jersey barriers, and then loop it back around the outside. And then it's a big long sweeper through this section of the course pulling it as fast as you can go but making sure you slow down just enough because you got to slow down and get into this 180 degree turn which also hooks you back out into the tight technical section of the track which i absolutely love it's uh nice and small nice and tight got a lot of uh barriers to be mindful of and not hit and you bring it around the outside section of it making sure not to hit it and then you loop it all around and then you cut back out and you go back out the way you came in. So there's a lot of going one way or another, looping it in and out. And then this is a full drifting shot all the way across, across the finish line. So that's the course. That's layout number one of, I believe there's three or four different layouts. So that's layout one. So we're going to go full bore on this here and see what we can do. So that was a little course preview. So now we're going to go full bore on this. We're going to go see if we can't run a full test run on this course. So we're at 100% boost, which I think we're going to be running. We're on 265 Achilles 123s on this Z. So let's, uh, let's go for gold. Kick it in. Fourth gear. Kind of hung that out 
a lot wider than I wanted to. Slow it down. Oh, we took out a couple, couple pylons there. A little bit faster than I wanted to go into that section. Now we're going to be in third gear using our left foot brake. Trying to keep it nice as tight as we can, but also gain speed. Now we can hook it on the inside of this section. Uh, a couple uh, couple pylons there. Now this is only my first or second time actually running this. We need to not hit those pylons like we were there. And we're going to bring this all the way out here. We're going to stay in third gear to kick it into these box turns. Third gear around that front pylon. Drifting in a little bit wide, but we're able to bring it back in perfectly. Nice and wide there. Now this part, we're gonna to wanna to kick it into fourth probably, because we got a sweeper on the outside. Kick it into third, just taking that out with the back end of the car. Kick it in between these walls. Hard flick out the other way. Stay in drift, because we don't wanna fall out of drift. Kicks into fourth, because we know this is that long sweep section this way. Enough time to slow us down. Almost missed the gear. Oh, I missed the handbrake. And we kind of came out of drift there, but kind of made it somewhat look cool into the tight bits. Left foot braking is going to be a big key with this. Keep it there. Now we're almost done with the course. Come out of this section, so I'm in the fourth, and across the finish line in the first layout. Not sure what the time was on that, but we can take a look. Now that wasn't the cleanest run or the fastest run by any means, and it looks like that was a 2.07. Not the fastest run, definitely can run faster. I believe um, on my one test run I was running low twos <laughs> so that's just a quick glance at this but I think we should uh, I think we should try and do another one of these runs in this car maybe lower the boost a little bit so we're gonna restart the session we're going to make sure the gear ratio we want our tire pressures are good we're gonna lower the boost down to 80 we're gonna see how the car handles an 80% boost and see if we can get a cleaner run, maybe not overpowering, and maybe get some front end grip or some rear grip. Definitely, power curve is different. As you can see, we're kind of bogging. Yeah, I don't think 80 is going to be enough for these grippy tires. Yeah, I don't think 80 is enough. I have to kick that back up to 100. Kick it in, there we go. Third gear is the money gear for this car on this gear ratio set and everything. Box turns, so much fun. You could lose a lot of time in these though if you're uh, come to a stop or stutter out. So we're gonna try not to stutter out this time like we did last time. Taking on that out, there we go. Nice clean line drawn through there. Just a wall tap to uh, flick ourselves back around. We're gonna try not missing the handbrake through this section this time. Oh, nope, do not want to do that in competition. That would be the end of our run, I believe. So we are fine-tuning this car to get it to handle exactly how I want it to on this course. Got a little bit more work to do. Going to change up the livery a little bit to get it finalized for the competition. I believe is beginning in January. So a lot of practice into Gymkhana style environment racing which is definitely a lot of fun definitely a different style competition than i'm used to 
but I will definitely take that. So that second run was a little bit better. But I still don't think it was fast enough. Nope, 205. Not fast enough. We need to get our times down even more. Want to be down there in the low twos, if not in the 150, one high, high 150s. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A little look at, into this competition. There's going to be a lot more going on with this competition. going to be testing out some different cars. But I believe we're going to be set on the Z. Going to be fine-tuning some settings. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of which are found in the description box below. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.